Now, what is it to go? Well, now out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of Super Mario Maker for the Nintendo Wii U. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell. Be notified every time my new videos come out. And let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. Um... What is your favorite style of What is your favorite style of Mario platforming? Is it 2D or 3D and why? May ought the 3D Mario games more than 2D cuz I've said this several times cuz in the 3D Mario games they have more control over Mario and we're going to do this, the Nintendo World Championship courses cuz like I said in the 3D games you have more control over Mario, of course. That's why I like the 3D games more than the 2D games. These levels are incredibly challenging, the ones I'm playing right now. Now we're going on to some of the more challenging levels in this game. And they don't give you no power-ups or anything. They do not give you power-ups or anything in these levels. So these levels are incredibly challenging. No power-ups or anything. <clears throat> you know, no power-ups or no nothing. So these levels are incredibly difficult. And you have a row of fire bars right here you have to really watch out for. And there's really no way you can jump over that and dodge it, so you have to find another way to beat it. Which the other way to feed it would be to do this. You have to go inside this pup. <clears throat> and you have to find your way around. And it looks exactly identical. And like I said, I like the 3D Mario games more than 2D. Just let me know down in the comments below for a question in the video. What style of Mario platforming do you like better, 2D or 3D, and why? Like I said, I like the 3D games more because I, I like how you can go in several different ways. And I like how there's more level variety and stuff. Excuse me. And I love how you have more control over Mario because the old... The old 2D Mario games just felt a little bit slippery to me. Like the old classic Mario games just felt a little bit slippery. Like I've already said, they just felt a little bit slippery. Like the old classic Mario games just felt a little bit slippery to me. And they felt a little bit slippery and out of control to me. Because I couldn't really get them under control because they were just a little bit slippery. And, and I've played the 30 games more and in the, in the 30 games they have a lot more control over Mario. Because like I said, the 2D games were just... I, the classic 2D games were just a little bit slippery because I couldn't really get the feel for them. That's probably why I don't really like the classic Mario games that much because um, they were just a little bit slippery. Because the classic Mario games were just a little bit slippery. And I've played the newer Mario games and like the, like the new Super 
The new Super Mario Bros. games don't have as good variety, level variety as they should, but when it comes to control and Mario's repertoire and moves, new Super Mario Bros. series is so much fun. I love wall jumping so much. I love the new Super Mario Bros. games. Honestly, I like the new Super Mario Bros. control more, but the 2D Mario Classic games are way more original and have a lot better level design and stuff. I'm just saying that um, I like the controls in the new Super Mario Bros. games better. Just because you have more control over Mario. What's in this item block? Oh, you don't get power. See, like I told you, no power-ups in this level. Or nothing. These test your platforming skills to the max about these levels. No power-ups or nothing. See, I told you it's tough. You have no power-ups, no checkpoints, or nothing. So if you die, you have to start back at the beginning of the level. And that is too high for Mario to jump over. Even if you do get a running start. And it does not even tell you what to do. It is not self-explanatory by any means at all. Because it does not tell you what to do, so. So you just have to push yourself. These require a lot of pressure. These are like some of the more difficult levels and see I told you it's tough. See I told you it's really tough. See I told you it's not easy. This is not gonna be a cakewalk by any means at all. Like I told you, it's too high. You can't even jump over it to get to the flagpole like you wanted to. It's too high. I told you it's tough. Mm. See, I told you it's tough. Mm. It can be a challenge to beat no matter how good you are at the game. That's how difficult this is. Mm. You know, I like to speedrun Mario games. Mm. Okay. This might be the correct way since I think about it. Stop! Wow! See, this has taken several tries. This is really hard, like I said. Told you it's tough. This is, this is super duper difficult. This is, see, it's just so hectic, man. I'll try to beat these levels right here, or maybe just show some fails if I end up never being able to beat this, because this is for pro players only. All right, not too bad so far. You have no checkpoints or anything. So, this is incredibly difficult. See, like I told you, even I'm struggling with it. And I'm a hard, and I'm a veteran at video games. And I'm one of the world's best gamers ever, and I'm struggling with this level. That's how difficult this is, like I've already said. There is no hidden block right there for you to go across that. You have to do it this way. That's the only possible way you can do it. We can test all these pipes. See, they won't even let you test that pipe. That's how difficult this is. That's how difficult this is. This is super duper difficult. Like I've already said. 
and I'm spending just nine minutes on one level. That's how difficult. And this will likely take you many, many tries. So, I'm gonna try to go in that pipe if they let me without hitting me. And it's random each time what they'll do to you so you can't learn a pattern. So you gotta react. This requires, if you're playing this level with input delay, it is almost impossible with input delay. The only way to have a real chance is to play on original hardware. That's how difficult this is. See, so you have no power-ups like I told you or anything. You cannot use any power-ups on this. Because you have no power-ups whatsoever. be really precise with everything here. This requires precision in every jump you do. I know it looks simple, but if you're playing with any input delay, this level can be practically impossible. So, the only way to have a real chance is to switch your HD TV to game mode that has that. To take... That's the only way to have a real chance at this is to is to switch your HD TV to game mode if it has that. I'm trying my hardest here. See, I told you it's tough. I know it looks easy. It might look easy, but it's not. See, it looks simple, but... Come on. This cannot be difficult no more. I give up. I can't even beat it. I told you it's hard. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching guys. This is the finale part because this playthrough is over now. So... I guess I, I'll find the credits. I'm trying to find the credits. I don't need the manual, but how to get the credits? How to get the credits? I want to show the credits.
Whatever. Forget it. We'll just end the playthrough off here. All right, guys. I say thank you very much for watching, you guys. I'm sorry if I can't beat um, the the world championship courses because they're super difficult. Like I said, and I can't even figure out what to do or nothing. I know some people can beat them a lot more easily than I can. Like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified every time my new videos come out. And don't forget to drop a like on this video and let me know down in the comments below for a question in the video. What style of Mario platforming do you prefer more, 2D or 3D, and why? I may like the 3D Mario games more in 2D because I because 3D games have better level design. It seems like in the 3D Mario games you have a lot more control over Mario because, like I said, the old classic 2D Mario games were just a little bit slippery. Um, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the new Super Mario Bros. games. I'm just talking about the classic 2D Mario games. And that's what I really like about the new Super Mario Bros. games. They have a lot more control over Mario than what you do in the 2D classic Mario games. Because like I said, the classic 2D Mario games, I couldn't really get the feel for them because they were just a little bit slippery. That's why I didn't like the classic Mario games that much. Um, the only classic Mario game I do like is the original. Because, of course, I like the original because it's really awesome. Um, and like I said, um, the new Super Mario Bros. games um, don't have as good level design as they should. And they don't have as much level variety as they should. But when it comes to control and when it comes to Mario's repertoire of moves, the new Super Mario Bros. series is so much fun. I love wall jumping so much. I love how smooth they, I love how fluid they are with the controls. So I like the new Super Mario Bros. control more than the classic 2D Mario games, although the original 2D Mario games, which are the original classic Mario games, are way more original and have a lot better level design. But the new Super Mario Bros. games have better control. And I love, I just love the new Super Mario Bros. games. Nas gives a 3D Mario games, but I love the new Super Mario Bros. games so much because they're really fun. Have a good one and have a great day, guys. Peace.